but we had a really good sounding plan to combat jet lag. It sounded real good, but <laughs> in then reality, we fell asleep. In reality, it didn't sound that's long. right. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We woke up at like 11.30. I would, on the plus side, I got a lot of stuff done in the middle of the night. So it's like 1 p.m. We're just getting ready to head out of the room. And we're going to attempt to go to Mercado de Santiago. It's... I, ha I have a... Oh, <laughs> It's early. So, early. It's actually called Mercado de San Miguel, a local market in, that opened in, in 1916. In 2009, it became Madrid's first gourmet food market. That's good. I know. And you remembered all that. I am impressed. I know, and I'm not even looking down. And it's also known for its cast iron architecture. I know. So, we'll have to show you all this. <laughs> and it's overcast and rainy, so being inside sounds awesome. I forgot. So this happened. Well, it's raining outside, so we came back to the room to drink our coffee and watch our friend Rook on Foot's new video. One of the best parts about slow travel is being able to make friends. I watch her. <laughs> Way to Mercado de San Miguel.
sandwich. It's cacio de pollo, cacio bread, with chicken, and it looks like it has melted cheese, and it's really hot. Oh wow! Chicken is smoked with pesto. I think this is the best thing I've had in a while. Oh my goodness! This is really good. Uh, these fried corn and bananas. Let's see what this one is. Spicy chorizo. Those are going to be hot. They're not hot, but they're good. Yeah. That's a mushroom and cheese. Pretty simple, normal, regular taste of mushrooms. Nothing special on those. Again, they're cold, which kind of surprised me. And then I had to get a bacalao. You can't. I'm currently talking with my mouth full. The bacalao is engine. We're getting a cake to try that one. It's like cream cheese and cod. Oh, wow. That's bacalao. Yeah, they put them in the oven, but they're not warm at all. Oh, I like the cod, but the combination with cold is not very good. Yeah. Oh, I want to try the cheese though. Maybe they forgot to put them in the oven. So these aren't warm at all. And they came out of something, or at least they were supposed to. Mm. This one's good. Not spicy, but it has a really good flavor. The mushroom and cheese is good. I like this one's made of corn on the outside. I like that. That's really good. Well, I think that calls our lunch day. To an end. I don't know what's coming up next. I haven't decided. It's raining. We actually went back and got them reheated. They, were, they are supposed to be hot. Okay. That's the bacalao. I liked it when it was cold. Now it is hot and creamy. It mixes up with the cheese. That's really good. That chorizo blends in with the potatoes that are in it and the egg mixes in with that corn dough. Hot is definitely the way to have these. I like them all right cold, but hot. I really think you should give the chorizo another shot for being hot. It's a totally different world. Oh yeah, that definitely is much better. My sandwich was better, but these are good. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Make the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>